Hey guys, Sam Sandwich here, and today I wanted to show off my AFK War Games uh, setup for my Twine Peaks Storm Shield. So I'll just get right into it here. So I just have some tier 3 metal triangle pyramid around my main one here. And then down here, I have these layers built to keep them from coming up here. So they're gonna spawn down here. Oh, that's really not good. So they spawn down here, and they're gonna try and get through here, and they're gonna break these and these. They're gonna try and get up there to get to my storm shield, but they can't because this has too much health, and you only have to defend for around six and a half minutes, I believe. So if you put your base down, they're never gonna break through here, and that's an easy dub. So now I'll show you the pattern on how you should build your defenses and you want to cover up every way that you can get to the storm sh or the amplifiers and storm shield as you can. So you're going to have, let's imagine this is where the husks are going to come from, from this metal here, and they want to get to this wood. So you're going to have these bricks or metal or whatever material you want, they're going to be like that, and like that, and then over top of those you're going to want a pyramid edited like that a wall, that there, another pyramid, another wall, and you're just going to repeat that for uh, about three times or so, and you're going to finish that off, and then you would put your base somewhere back here to get all of the walls so you can get your recycling perk. So you can see here, these are just the examples of how you can cover up your amplifiers. This will work in in any um, any zone like Stonewood, um, Canyon Valley, Plankerton, doesn't matter. You don't have to do this with anybody, you can do this solo. So we'll get right into it here and we'll activate the War Games mission. And you're gonna make sure you go to War Games custom war games. Make sure you do custom war games, not daily war games. You're going to want to pick denied and husk swarm, husk swarm, which causes anomalies to appear, which is a good one because all of these other ones are not as good and not as good for like AFK. You can see. So denied and you're going to want to have husk swarm because that stops all of the other types of husks from spawning other than basic just regular old husks so you can do wait for assistance but you don't have to and here you can see the rewards what you're going to get you're going to get summer tickets gold perk up now i've gotten legendary perk up i've got rare perk up epic perk up and evolution materials i've gotten storm shards i think for every time i've done this so we'll start that right up, edit this closed, and we'll go right over to this side, the east side, for me. I've, they always come from this side, I'm pretty sure. And I have this set up, I put my base right here, and you can see it's covering all of these metal things, which is going to get me um, um, 1,000 metal each time I do this wave. I think it's, a pri it's like 6 minutes. And now I'm bringing um, a supply drop with me too. This is going to give me um, crafting materials and mats, which are all nice and useful things to get. And you can see there's the anomaly. And I'll get you a good little view on the husks trying to get in. That's where they're all spawning from, and they try to walk that way. There's a crossbow. Oh, you can't see the health on the buildings. But yeah, there's a lot of husks. And since there's so much health on the buildings, I come down here. There you go. 9,000 health. I think the walls or these things have like a lot. I don't know. They just have a lot. And they can never get to you. I'll put that down so they don't kill me. But for this, you don't even have to do anything. If you build up this much, they'll never get up here. And you can just sit here and watch your YouTube videos. You can watch more of my YouTube videos if you want to. Um, you can get the, the time cheats if they appear. 
but if you want materials, that's gonna cut down on how many materials you're gonna gather. But I'll get them just for video's sake. And I'm gonna cut it anyways here, because it's basically just this for the entire time of six and a half minutes or however long it is. And you're just gonna wanna stay away from the anomalies. I found about this far in is good. Now you can like open this up and look down there if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You, you don't have to AFK, but you can. But after the six minutes are up, you really want to make sure you get over to your next campfire. Because, well, I haven't tested if you need to do that or not, but it makes me feel a lot better that I know that I have my base down that's protecting it so much more. But maybe I'll try that. I'll try doing a fully AFK one or not. Like, doing nothing and see if my walls can hold up. So let me know, like the video if you want to see that. But I'll cut now to the next one or the end of this wave and the start of the next one. Alright, so this wave is now almost over. I'm just going to go over here and get my airdrop real quick. One more, yep. Got our medals. And they're gonna come from this way, from the north, which is my least favorite direction they come from. I don't know why it is, but... So I'm pretty much just gonna do this one the same way, basically anything for the whole time. And I'll come back when we finish it, and I'll show you guys the rewards. And then I'll show uh, what loadout you're gonna want, and I'll explain why you're gonna want it. Alright, so we're almost done with this wave. I'm gonna try and collect this. Ooh. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get it that I got it, okay. I got that, and I don't think they broke through one layer. They're still trying to make it through the ramps. They have gotten in over there, I think, though, somewhere. But here we go, we're about to complete it. I'll skip to uh, multiple new rewards now. Alright, here we are on the loot screen, so let's open up the chest, we got level 5 loot. We got 86 gold, 110 summer tickets, and there we go, perfect example. 46 legendary perk up, and 10 storm shards. And with these, war games, um, boot camp I think, yep. So here, every 3 you're gonna get 100 summer tickets and 100 gold. So that's all of the rewards and stuff you'll be expecting. Now let's get on to the hero loadout and things for that. So for me, I'm running base Kyle as my commander. Um, can I see the perks? Yeah, here we go. So as my commander, he gives me 84% more building health, which is very good for keeping the husk from destroying it. Now with that, you could either, you could also use um, power modulation, Frozen Castle, Mega Base, all those would work. I have not tried Electric Floors or Base MD, but those are just there to kind of kill the husks, which you don't even really need to do. So that's basically all that, and then recycling, you're going to get materials back from doing this. So yeah, and I also have the Supply Drop and General Rush. So that's basically this entire um, tutorial thing on AFK war games and such. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.